Not to be confused with Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, what do you remember from that, that game last year and what you know what it did for you guys maybe mentally for the rest of the season? Um, it was a sense of hope. And, uh, and, um, and when I say that, I'm just saying the hope of us to, to, um, to run the conference. And um, like, like Ringo said, like the game, we did make a stand for a, a statement. And uh, we just wanted to be known throughout the summer that we wasn't for real about about that shit season. Beginning to end, both sides. Oh yeah, yeah, we, we, we never let off. Yeah, we never let off. Yeah, we never let off. We it, we went into the game knowing that it was going to be, you know, blood gushing and, and all the good stuff. So we we didn't we didn't let off the gas at the one time. We were doing the same this year as well. Have you noticed a, a difference in the, the mentality of, of the offense uh, just in a couple practices this week after some success last week? Yeah, um, you know, we just got back to playing our educated football and um, understanding um, our identity and our role of playing offense or being on the offense, if you will. And, um, and with that, you know, just getting back to what we're doing, the nickel and diamond that we want to, you know, hit them with the big punch. And, um, you know, not, 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 not losing um, our character of who we are. You know, whenever stress comes, we understand that with the game of football adversity is going to come, so we just got to continue to know what we can do, what we can do, and um, put points on the board and come up with I, I, hear the, I, I hear a lot of people say we got back to playing Rage and Cajun football, and I don't really know exactly what that means. You know? yeah, just, just hard nose football, just doing the little things right. And, you know, not um, thinking about the next game and or thinking about the next play, just taking that one play and that one rep at a time. <laughs> How has the demeanor of the team kind of changed? Getting getting this win, getting opening up some belt play, kind of how you guys expected? Um, no man, um, it just just really getting back to just taking one game at a time and just understanding that we can only control what we can control. And, that, and at that at that time, the, the one thing that we can control is that one play, that one rep. You know, just getting back to, to changing our focus and um and not so far looking as far as the whole mechanism of the season, but just taking it just one play at a time. Your linebacker Mayo is leading leading the conference in mm-hmm. tackles. I don't know what seat film or I don't even know if it was hurt or if he played that game with you guys last year. But what what challenges does he present uh, as you know? Um, you, you you play against a, a Division One college football team. You know there's going to be obstacles in, in, in your way. You know trying to get to a touchdown. But, uh, but um, we want to approach it just the same. Him as equal to everybody else on their, their defense. You know they have 11 great guys on their defense. So. With that, we're just going to continue to do what we have to do, you know, and just we just be executed. We just and now we're executing against different opponents, you know. So now we just want to just continue to run the ball and pass the ball, to take our way in, and give him confidence, and so he can complete passes, and, you know, make holes that we got to do for for our running backs so they can be great. We don't have a rack though because we got hurt. So right, what, right. Uh, how does that change the complexion of their defense? It really doesn't, you know. It, it's, the, it, it's it's still eleven objects, you know, just the time. I mean, the, the only thing that changes is the numbers on the, the jersey. You know, we still want to approach the game as if they were playing. So, I mean, nothing changes pretty much with our mentality towards the defense, you know, with somebody in or out. I know in you know, the, the month with the struggles you guys had, those were some, kind of some statement opportunities that maybe you guys didn't do as, what, as well as you wanted to. That being said, you have two national TV games upcoming. Uh, has that been any, any talk of you know a chance to kind of redeem yourself as far as on, on a national scale? You know there will be a lot of eyes on, on this game. All right. I mean, um, it's kind of like what's understood and got to be explained. You know, we understand that it's on ESPN, and um, we're not putting no more pressure on ourselves. That's already there. So with that, we're just gonna, like I said earlier, just continue to do what we got to do. And um, on on ESPN or on CST, it doesn't matter. We're gonna play our football. You know, and um, and hopefully the world will benefit from our hard work. You know, so. Daniel, Daniel, coming off of that game last week, team seems like they're, they're starting to click. How's it feel? Um, it, it, it feels good, you know, to, to just be back in our skin. And um, because the past three weeks, I'm not, I'm not saying we we allowed it to dictate our team because we and all the, and through all the, the turmoil, we we still knew our identity, we still knew who we were. It was just the fact that we just had to allow other people to to. to to get the confidence back in, because we had the confidence the whole time. It was just things were going our way. You know, we didn't push the ball in the end zone that we had opportunities, so we just missed the little things. But, um, you know, with that, the, the game, the, the, this past game against Georgia State, it really allowed the confidence to really just come back. And um, with that, we're just going to continue to build on that and um, hopefully get to where we need to be. And that's 2-0 in the conference. What, uh, what changed uh, prep-wise from 
two years ago when you guys struggled in the in the midweek games to to last year when you won them both. And how does that apply? Now? Um, we we just I think two years ago we were so caught up in the ESPN and uh and uh, back to back both games being on ESPN and you know the conference games we got caught caught up in that and then last year we just approached it as if it was a Sunday on the, I mean Saturday on the Sunday. I mean, Saturday on the Tuesday. Yeah, and, but um, you know, we, we we just we just we just chilled out. You know, we just did what we had to do. And uh, we understood that we understand that those Tuesday games are still conference games. They're still games that, that have to be played, and that we won't win, just win just by showing up. So we have to execute like, the game plan and just do the little things. Those two games last year were arguably probably your your best games as far as you know offense, defense, special teams. <clears throat> kind of a turning point for you guys. Do you think, you know, given kind of the story of the season so far, that, that can be the case right, again right. too if you take care of business? Right, right. You know, and um and with that we, we right now we're just looking for we're just looking for that that um that pedestal if you will, you know, just kind of to propel us to where we need to be, you know, like we, we, like we, we're confident right now. But you know, the, we look at the record, we see two and three. But and that's what we're trying to wipe it off. And you know, we say we want to know right now, our confidence. Yeah, we are, but still, we at the end of the day, we want to be three and three. You know, and so with that three and three, we got another chance to be a four and three. So we're just going to continue on with that. And just, um, just a lot of momentum from Georgia State to just kind of just take us smoothly on. And um, you know, we understand that nothing's going to be given to us. And with that, we just changed our mindset. Of um, we're the Cajuns, we're just here on, on the field, and yet you know, like like that, man, we're really gonna be getting back to working hard and um, just getting back to the fundamentals and getting back to the basics. So uh, it seems like uh, y'all were kind of attacking the perimeter a little bit more. Obviously, helping Jamal, having Jamal back helped y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, but do you, when you stretch a field horizontally, do you think that opens up everything vertically as well? Oh yeah, yeah. Whenever. Um, you know, it, it just causes the defense to, to, to not just see us our offense as one dimensional. You know, it, it, it poses a threat to um to the defense to for them to respect everything that we do as as far as the offense. And um, it just I, I it, now that we have our, our weapons, it, it really just we have more options now. And you never just want to be one dimensional when it comes to offense. How much has the emergence of Al really helped? Kind of complete this offense and, and help Jamal and really just kind of put everything in place? It, it added more dimensions. You know, um, when, when he's in there, you have to respect the spots. You have to, you have to respect the, the, um, the, um, the, 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 quick, the quick game of our, of our offense. And um, just like I said, it just really added more dimensions. And he, he, he really fits that piece well. Uh, Terrence also had a, like a bit of a bounce back game last week. Was that important for him? Oh, think? yeah. Oh, yeah, because... Um, and, and, and I'll say that um, that was that was kind of on us as an offensive line to give him the time and the, the confidence to sit back in the pocket and, and be relaxed and to do what he has to do because the previous week, yeah, he may only be a sack one time, but still he 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 was under pressure a lot. And, um, and, and as far as that, I, I would put that on the offensive line. And so with that, we just took it upon ourselves for Georgia State to give him the time that he deserved, and so he can make the, uh, our offense more successful. Anything else? Thank you, Dan. All right, thank you. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan.